is good you it's your boy time back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be taking a look at the tis the season present set that is coming to nba 2k24 my team tomorrow talking about you know whether it's worth you guys uh picking up any of these cards and how Devin Booker is needed for Kobe Bryant, but he is not the lock. So, uh, you know, a kind of different thing, and we're going to be going over uh, it today. Now, before we dive any further, if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button. As we read here, it is a time for the stars of a today uh, and, and the NBA to get upgraded cards in the Tis This Season present collection. With Diamond, Devin Booker is the newest card needed for Kobe's collection, but it comes with a twist. Booker is not only available in the newest packs but he is also available directly via the player market so what does this mean well let's continue okay uh if you are looking to complete the collection for the ultimate kobe you only need to pick up d book from the set d book is not this set's locket he is just just in the player market in packs obviously as you guys can get him and so let's say you don't want the lock in reward for the present select set with Shiz, Giannis Antetokounmpo you could just get Devin Booker you guys can see in this set you also do get it looks like small forward shooting guard Kawhi uh it looks like in uh, at least from my vantage point we also see Jason Tatum you see Anthony Davis as well as Drew Holiday so I mean Let's go over each of those cards briefly. Kawhi, going to be absolutely elite. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Feels like another Ron Artest type of card. Jason Tatum, and I do believe that's a you know small forward, power forward. I'm going to open this in a new tab, see if I can uh, see it bigger. Yes, yeah, small forward, power forward. For Jason Tatum, uh, you know, again, he's going to be really solid given his release. Anthony Davis at the power forward position, going to be absolutely elite. I know the lock-in is going to be Giannis Antetokounmpo, but AD in his own right is going to be solid. Drew Holiday defensively is going to be a problem. Obviously, offensively, I'm not a big fan of his release. And then Diamond Devin Booker, probably going to be your best point guard in the game. I mean, defensively, still probably not going to be great, but offensively, just going to be super overpowered in my team. So there's the cards in the set. You guys can also see for his career high performance Wednesday night, a new 2K numbers cards has been created for Pink and Diamond Giannis. He will be available Friday as the collection reward. So you don't need Giannis for Kobe. But Giannis, in his own right, is really solid. So, I mean, I kind of get what 2K did here. They didn't want everybody to have to lock in for Giannis, for Kobe, especially because we got a diamond Giannis lock-in not too long ago. So, I mean, I kind of don't mind what 2K did here, uh, in a sense. But, he, like, for me, for example, I didn't get the diamond Giannis. And so I'm going to have no hesitation when it comes into locking in this set because Giannis is going to play for me. Anthony Davis probably will play. Kawhi might play. Devin Booker obviously is going to play. Like a lot of these guys are going to ultimately make my squad. So I don't really, to me, it's not that big of a deal. I can easily lock in this set. Obviously, it's going to be expensive, but it is okay. Some other players in this, Amy Devontae Sabonis, Amy Julius Randle, Amy Andrew Wiggins, Amy Austin Reeves, and Amy Chris Middleton. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat things. If the price of Amis stay the same, do we as a community realize how expensive this set's going to be? I don't know if we do. If the price of Amethyst stay 84,000 empty and the price of diamonds stay 180 some thousand empty, you are looking at this being what? 400,000 plus basically 800,000, 1.2 million empty to lock in Giannis. That would be absolutely ridiculous. So I'm hoping the price of Amethyst in this set aren't super expensive because if they are, it is going to just be ridiculous. You guys can see for the next week, unlimited double XP starting Friday. So if you don't have Lamar Odom, a good way to you know double up the XP, uh, especially in my team unlimited. Tis the season player in the agenda is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, uh, Tuesday. We get a present Meech future set, which uh, I'm guessing like the future players are going to be like the Tyrese Halberton's Lamelo Ball's Anthony Edwards of the world. And then you get new to the season players, the other ones. Obviously, a new Pink Diamond player will be added to my team. That was uh, this upcoming week. But all I can really say is this. If you've got the Diamond Giannis, I can't recommend you guys locking in Pink Diamond Giannis. I just can't. And even if you have... Even if you don't have Pink Diamond Giannis or Diamond Giannis, right? Let's say you don't have either. I'm going to say it. 
AD is going to be 95% of what Giannis is. So when it comes down to it, is Pink Diamond Giannis worth the lock-in? Probably not. He is going to be probably the best power forward in the game, but probably not worth the ultimate lock-in. I'm just saying Amy, uh, Amy Austin Reeves is going to be absolutely ridiculous for what he is as well. So just don't be surprised when he's running the game. Now, price-wise, I'm telling you guys right now, if Amethysts are as expensive as I think they are going to be, you know, being, being that, you know, what, 84,000 MT, this Giannis set is not worth it. Because even VC-wise, you're going to have to spend over $100 to get Giannis. I mean, even if they make it a big time discount, you're going to have to spend $100 to get Giannis, which is just absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. Now, if Giannis is $50, that's a lot better than if he is $100. But the one thing about it is, at least if you're going for Kobe Bryant, you do not have to lock in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. You can save yourself some money by not having to lock in the set. And even if you want to get an AD, a Kawhi, even, you know, let's say D-Book, obviously is, uh, D-Book, it doesn't, hold up, D-Book, it doesn't look like, okay, so D-Book's a separate thing, it looks like, um, unless, unless, okay, uh, yeah, because Devin Booker's in the Kobe set, it does not look like Devin Booker is in this Giannis set specifically. So that makes things, that puts a little twist on things too, because if you have to get Devin Booker on top of Giannis, that just makes things way more difficult as well. So, I mean, things are going to be super interesting come tomorrow. Uh, obviously, Devin Booker is needed for Kobe Bryant. But if you have to get Giannis on top of Devin Booker come tomorrow, it is going to be a pretty expensive day. What I would recommend you guys is if Devin Booker is not a part of this Giannis set, maybe buy this, if you really want Giannis, buy this with VC and then buy Devin Booker with MT. That is just the one thing I, I'm personally thinking about right now if he is in a different type of set. The one thing about it, guys, I mean, if I'm you guys and I just want a couple of cards tomorrow, I'm getting Devin Booker, Anthony Davis, Kawhi. I think those are going to be the three best cards that do come out tomorrow. And if Amethysts are cheaper, which hopefully they are, Austin Reeves could be a really solid... Again, I don't want to call him a budget option if he's going to be super expensive, but could be a really solid, at least, option to add to your specific squad. This whole Giannis thing today into tomorrow is going to probably continue to be confusing for the majority of the community, just because, I mean, again, nobody really knew how we were going to get Giannis still is super interesting just for the sole fact that Devin Booker um, is available in the player market uh, and he is needed for uh, Pink Diamond Devin Booker. But it looks like you only need to pick up Booker from this set. So I do still think Devin Booker is going to be a part of this Tis the Season present set. But again, I don't really know. This whole thing to me is confusing. The last two days have been confusing. And I feel like even with, you know, the dev blogs and everything we've seen, everything just continues to get more and more confusing. The one thing about it is you do not need Pink Diamond Giannis for Pink Diamond Kobe Bryant. That's the good thing about it. So you can kind of separate things, decide who you really want to lock in for. Now, obviously for me, uh, you know, I'm probably going to get Giannis on Scuba because I didn't get Diamond Giannis. And then when it comes down to Devin Booker, going to get him as well. So gameplay-wise, guys, tomorrow, Devin Booker, Giannis, obviously, you know, Kawhi, Jason Tatum, Anthony Davis, those types of guys coming tomorrow. And again, for the community is super exciting. I'm hoping tomorrow in the agendas, we get an equal chance Ami pack and an equal chance Diamond pack. Maybe even a chance at Devin Booker, I think, would be really good for the community. If 2K does that tomorrow, we get an equal chance Ami pack and an equal chance Diamond pack. I can't be mad. But let me know your guys' thoughts on this down below in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.